Hello and thanks for watching my channel. I'm here with my trusty friend R2 who's dropped on by and we're going to talk about 3D printed battery boxes. What do you reckon R2? Should we take a look? Well what I started off with um, is I purchased these aluminium battery boxes made by one of the club members and they're very well built however um, due to my uh, feet being TWM feet and being a little bit different than the normal steel feet, uh, I found that um, I was getting a little bit of vibration when R2 would go over things and that sort of stuff. So I just recently bought an Upbox 3D printer and what I thought about is uh, um, printing a 3D printed one and how I would go about that. So I ended up designing one that looks exactly a little like this at the end um, and uh, and that's what I've come up with um, so looking at the uh, design I come up with a shell and this is what I um, I printed is this shell uh, basically it, it looks that like this I've got these two areas here that uh, I screw on a back plate and the other sides just uh, just open, same as what the uh, the battery box uh, would be before that part's been put in. And then I printed this section here um, with the holes in it and that sort of stuff and that would then sit in there like that and I would just glue that on there and I would end up with basically a battery box. Uh, then I got a piece of uh, PVC, grey PVC, drilled some holes in it, cut that on a CNC machine and that would act as uh, a little cover and then screw that on, same as the original battery boxes. And the UP 3D printer is, is amazing that um, that it actually can print something that tall and uh, get very little um, warp in it, which is really good. And that's probably more to do with the uh, the base plate that they have, um, and it being a perforated board uh, helps that. Also, they brought out a new material, um, which is called ABS Plus. It's got some polycarbonate in it, and it needs to be printed at uh, a bit higher temperatures, but um, doesn't tend to warp as much. So I was pretty happy with that, the way that came out. So then I moved on to the ones that I actually want to uh, do. And I've got ones here that I've printed, and with this part here already glued in. And as you can see, it looks uh, pretty well much the same as what a normal battery box would be, except it's, uh, it's 3D printed. I've got these holes in the side here, and I use them um, to attach to my legs, uh, to my feet, sorry. Um, I've actually uh, threaded some holes in there. Those holes are threaded, and I can tighten it up that side. And I just use uh, one side of the uh, keyhole to actually hold and, and keep that side apart. Um, my fittings on my hoses are a little bit shorter. I made them a little bit shorter, hence the holes don't go all the way through. And I just made those a little bit uh, a little bit smaller so I could actually thread those hole, um, um, place a thread in there for those uh, hoses just to uh, to turn in. You may note probably asking why these two holes here. Well, what I did there is with the uh, the straps for the battery boxes, this part here, I actually got a um, a uh, an M5 uh, by 30 mil uh, grub screw, and I screwed that all the way into this part and then put an M5 nut on there to hold that part and then as you can see there I'm not sure you can see that there um, that you can see this little part in here and I just put a nut over that and that keeps um, that strap on there and this part here where well, I just glue that on with some glue um, I've yet to paint these yet 
Um, I've got to uh, uh, just give these a bit of a light sand, put some spray putty on them and then sand that a few times and, and build up the layer there to fill in all the imperfections and then I think it will should be look, uh, it should look pretty good I think. Um, and I've already had these on R2, I've got some photos of what they look like, they um, look pretty good, they're pretty sturdy. And when the batteries are installed onto the feet, you can see that they're nice and tight against the curve, that there's no gaps there. And uh, when R2's driving around, the battery boxes uh, don't vibrate at all. And uh, yeah, they're really good. So hopefully they'll uh, look uh, good when painted and finished. And uh, I'll do another video on that shortly. Well, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.